Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to the Test Drive. Today I'm going to show you exactly what it's like to drive the 2018 BMW X5. So we're going to shift into drive. Now I love this shifter here that BMW has been using this style for a long time. Shifting into drive and here we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. So there are four different engine options available in the 2018 X5 in North America. The first, the base option is what I have in this X5 and that's the 35i. And that is the inline turbocharged, it's one twin scroll turbocharger. So inline turbocharged six cylinder that produces 302 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. And in this X5, it's mated to BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. You can also get this X5, the 35i, in the S-Drive configuration, which is rear wheel drive. Now, the other options are the 35D, which is an inline turbocharged six-cylinder diesel engine. And then you have the 40E, which is a plug-in hybrid configuration. It's a two-liter four turbocharged four-cylinder. Um, and then that's combined with an electric motor. And then you also have the 50i at the top end, which that is a twin turbocharged V8, uh, awesome engine. And then above that, which BMW considers to be a separate vehicle is the X5M, which is also a twin turbocharged V8, absolute monster of an SUV. But the one that I'm driving is a 35i with the twin scroll turbocharged inline six cylinder and i have to say that being the base engine and you know having 302 horsepower 295 pound feet of torque this thing performs really nicely bmw states that this will do zero to 60 in 6.1 seconds just judging by the way it drives i don't have a reason to say that it won't i mean bmw is kind of known for understating uh, the performance so i wouldn't be surprised if it could actually do better than 6.1 so we're taking this into some corners here. Now, right now I have this in comfort. So you have four different driving modes. You have Eco Pro at the bottom, which really gives you the most economical ex experience. You have Comfort, which gives you kind of the most balanced experience, really more about comfort. Again, uh, not so much performance, although it will perform in comfort. Uh, you then have Sport, which kind of sport tunes everything about the car. And then at the top, you have Sport Plus. And what that does is it combines the features of Sport, but then it also basically limits the traction control. So it just kind of lets the vehicle do its thing and just you know, have more of a raw performance experience without the traction control system trying to tame what you're doing. Now you also have the Sport displays here. And it, I love this. I mean, I love how it just shows you the delivery of the power and torque. It's just really cool. So we're gonna put this in Sport Plus. Now just flooring it in Sport Plus, I mean, it's not faster, at least from what I can tell. Um, it certainly holds the gears longer. I mean, that's the functionality of Sport. And, you know, I was already moving, so, uh, you know, this thing doesn't put down so much power that you would get wheel spin, you know, if you're just coasting a little bit and then hitting the gas. But uh, it still does, you know, significantly stiffen up the steering. Um, and it just gives you more of a sporty experience. But this still rides so smoothly. I mean, it's not like, and it's not meant to be, but it's not like a sports car where you're so connected with the road because of how harsh it rides and all of that. I mean, it's still, even in Sport Plus, it's still rather pillow-like. I mean, it does feel a touch stiffer than when you're driving it in comfort mode, but it's not, um, it's nothing like drastic. It, but it, I mean, it is significant. I mean, you still, you do feel the bumps more. Uh, you know, you, you are more connected with the road a little bit, but you know, it's still, I mean, this is just a really nice family vehicle that also offers you performance. So it's something you can have fun with as well if you want. 
<laughs> and I love the sound of this six cylinder. You know, I didn't expect it to sound this good. And I, one thing that I really like that BMW does is that they haven't tried to mute this. I mean, everybody, it seems like, or a lot of people anywhere, are trying to mute the engine noise and they're trying to make it quieter. And it's, I don't like that. I mean, it's fine. There's people that probably like that a lot, but I like that when you really put your foot into it, you get that audible feedback. So here's that really nice big backup camera, front and rear parking sensors. Then you also have this big front camera system here, which once you start driving quickly, it just goes away because it doesn't want you relying on that. Obviously it wants you to be uh, looking through your extremely large windshield. Yeah, I mean, this is just really fun to drive. <laughs> you still get that body roll though. I mean, this is a this is an SUV. This is not meant to be a sports car. Ooh. Now you also have some safety features here that come into play. You have the lane keeping system that will cause the steering wheel to vibrate if you kind of depart from your lane. See here, it's just vibrating. Uh, it doesn't like pull you back into your lane or anything like that, like some other systems do. Um, and then you also have the blind spot monitoring system, which is nice, uh, The where it is at actually. It's here on the inside of the side mirror. So other cars driving can't actually see it really. Now putting this in manual, one thing I really like is I mean, number one, these paddle shifters feel really nice. They feel much more sturdy than they do in other vehicles. Um, but the other thing is that the shifts are actually very quick. And that's something that you really don't see in vehicles like this one that aren't geared toward performance. You know, typically in, in a vehicle like this, uh, you may, maybe you'll get paddle shifters, but they're not gonna shift quickly. I mean, they're just kind of there and they're basically, in my opinion at least, uh, useless unless you're trying to like engine brake going down a hill or something like that. But in this X5, even with this base 35i engine, um, these paddles are really nice and they shift very quickly. And that's something I did not expect. And I mean, I don't have paddles in my X5, which is the previous generation. Yeah, and Sport Plus, it seems like it keeps you in the torquiest um, part of you know the RPM range, which is really awesome. It's so much fun, and then you put it back into comfort, and you know you have an eight-speed transmission, so you can cruise at very low RPMs, and you can get that fuel economy advantage. I mean, this thing does get pretty good fuel economy, 18 miles per gallon in the city, 24 on the highway, and that's with the all-wheel drive system. And like in all BMWs, the all-wheel drive system is rear-wheel drive biased, and I just love that. That is the way to do it. That is, again, so performance-focused, and you know, just gives you such a nice, such a fun driving experience, even in a vehicle like this, that is really not about performance. So I hope you enjoyed this video of what it's like to drive the 2018 BMW X5. I'm Rob, this is the test drive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the video and this SUV and what this competes against. And please subscribe to my channel if you'd like. It does help me make more videos and we're doing giveaways all the time to subscribers. So it does make you eligible for the giveaways that we have going on in the channel. So again, thank you for taking this test drive with me and I'll talk to you soon.